If you look around on Japanese roads, you'll come across cars that look very boxy and are also remarkably narrow. Japanese refer to these cars as keiji dosha, which means light vehicle, or in short, k-car. The government stipulates by law what a k-car is. The most obvious restriction is the size. To be recognized as a k-car, a car must have the maximum width of 1.48 meters and a maximum length of 3.4 meters. To comply with these dimensions, Japanese car manufacturers get really creative. The sides of the cars are really steep and the bonnet is also as short as possible. Many of the K cars currently available exactly fulfill the prescribed dimensions. To maximize the available space, the rear seats in this model can be moved. In this way, the quite respectable boot can be converted into plenty of legroom in the rear. When something needs to be transported, the seats can of course also be folded down. But when you sit in a K car, You've actually got everything you need. There's even space for a little armrest. The boxy minivan style K cars in particular are very popular, but they also come in other shapes. There are even sports cars. The engine of a K car may only have a maximum displacement of 0.66 liters and may only generate a maximum of 63 horsepower. But as K cars are generally really small and light, this could be sufficient for a sports car. There are also trucks that fulfill the K car requirements for delivering and transporting goods. The available space can also accommodate a food truck or a motorhome. They can all be recognized by their yellow number plates. All of these vehicles are manufactured exclusively by Japanese companies for the Japanese market and are not exported, at least with a few exceptions. The only production car from the rest of the world that was ever offered as a Kai car was the Smart. The body had to be made 7 centimeters narrower for this. Unfortunately, the Japanese didn't want to buy it. That's why the Smart Model K was discontinued just shortly after introduction. So this Smart Model K is really special. Why are the Japanese so enthusiastic about these cars that about 40% of all cars in Japan are K cars? Well, here you can save a lot of money with such a small car. Of course, the purchase price is cheaper. You can get a fully equipped K car for around 13,000 euros. But also the taxes levied by the Japanese government on car purchases are reduced for K cars. In addition, petrols and parking are cheaper, as are tolls. Speaking of parking, in Japan, you can't just park your car on the side of the road. If you want to have a car, you need a parking space. This requirement does not apply to K cars, at least in rural areas. The regulation is already over 70 years old and was introduced shortly after World War II. The goal was to subsidize the Japanese domestic automotive industry and also support poorer Japanese people in particular to switch from two-wheelers to four-wheelers. Incidentally, K cars were even smaller back then. The permitted width was only one meter in the beginning. Later, the poor man's car became a trend for everyone and helps minimize traffic space today, especially in narrow streets, which are even common in big cities and also in front of your own doorstep.